Hi guys, welcome back to the series of videos on the Nigerian PAE system. Uh, if you're following along, we we started building this from scratch, and uh, our aim is to get to the point of calculating taxes and uh, develop a standard payroll. With this, so in the last video, we we stopped here. And I'm just I'll continue from that place today, and we we'll expand more on formulas and uh, some of this formatting. Formatting means the changing appearance for presentation, uh, uh, printing, and things like that. So today we will talk more on formulas. We will we'll build more on the last f uh, work that we did in the last video. So. Yeah, well, I have not saved this because if from the last video, <laughs> yeah, I haven't saved that this file. So, for instance, if I close now, you will see that Excel is asking me to save this one. So we also need to talk about how to save our work because yeah, this this little this piece of information now you can save it and you know give it to somebody. As as uh, a piece of software, you just develop the software. So uh, in the last video, we didn't save this. So to save a work, you will see that if I try to close, Excel is telling me to save because I decided to close that this file I'm working on. So I should save. If I don't want to save, I I don't save. Or this cancel if I I close by error. So if I cancel, it will take me back to my work. Uh, but instead of saving through this close, you can always see this uh, this get icon here that that looks like this get is for you to save, or you can come to file and save. So once you click on that, because we are saving for the first time, Excel we need the place or the destination where we want to save that file on our computer system. And then it will also require the name. It is not saving, it is saving us because we, we are saving for the first time. In subsequent savings means we have made changes to the previous one and we are trying to update. But because it's the first time, you will see save as not save. If you don't understand that statement, please re rewind this video and then you get that statement very well. We are saving for the first time, it is saving us. If you are making subsequent savings, that means you have adjusted the file, you have made some changes, and you are trying to save, that is going to save to the current uh, change. But because it's the first time we need the location on our system where you want to save that file, and it will also ask for the name. So you click on Browse. Then you locate where you want to save probably your desktop or your document or or what have you so I'll just put this on the desktop and I'll give it a name I'll say uh, company payroll I'll say my company's payroll company payroll there and I'll click on save it has saved now if we close it is not going to ask for anything because we have saved it and here is the file on the desktop here yeah? so you can send this file to your friend say hey i've created a piece of software for you for your payroll for you to use you can send it copy send it as an email or copy to a flash or something and send it they can use it so if you want to continue on that you can double click on it your friend will see something like this oh I need to enter the first name of my staff. Oh, we have Adewale uh, John, I think. And the next one is uh, Princess, I think I remember. Princess uh, Linda, I don't know. And the last one is. Um, this is Bobby Brown, I don't know. What? Bobby Brown. Now we can have a different thing, manager, 
says rep. Preston. And then Bobby Brown is uh sales uh, manager. Or uh, IT manager. I slept there like that. So because we have made changes to the previous listing now we can just click on save you see that that is not asking us where you want to save or because we already have that file on our desktop we only make changes now to save to this current place so if we decide to close now and open this file again by double clicking or you right click and select to open So this is the last place or the last thing we did that we have it here. So if you make changes and click on save, it's uh, saved currently. Now, but if you want to decide to save this thing, this file with another name to another place, that means you need to save as as if it's a new file. So you go to the file and save as again, okay, just like it will show you the this thing like you want to save for the first time. And then you can browse to where you want to save the copy again and make your changes like that so i'm going to click back so some of these uh functions of this excel we will be going seeing them as we progress because again this is not this tutorial is not teaching us everything about excel definitely not what we are doing is tailored to just payroll and for us to get to you know know the tools we need for the purpose because excel is so wide and it's so it's, it's very, very extensive and uh, you just know what you know so uh let's put some figures here thirty thousand this may be our friend using what the software we sent to him and he should be happy using using this why is this still not calculating it's supposed to calculate I'm not seeing any calculation. It's supposed to be calculating, guys. What is going on? Yeah, these are some of the errors that we may be getting. Okay. Yeah, it is good this way. It is good this happened. You can see that. In the previous videos the moment you type a figure and you press enter the the formulas should calculate themselves immediately after when you press enter like i enter the figure here thirty thousand. i press enter it is supposed to calculate but it's not calculating because i don't know one way or the other my formulas are not automatically calculating themselves so if we have that issue if you have that issue you can solve it by coming to the formula menu here and you go to calculation options here yeah. I think it's always like that if you select and put select automatic but I want it to calculate automatically I'll put automatic here and you can see that that has affected so I made a serious change here I need to save my work Let's close and see what will happen again. So if I double click to open, okay, this is what we did last. Now let's give this plan some twenty thousand. We should expect automatic calculation like that. And this guy should uh, let's put them on the same salary twenty thousand too. Now you can see the value of. Or the importance of formula everything is calculating themselves and because we're having three staff yeah you think you may think oh it's not you can be having hundred thousand staff and this is the same thing that will happen in milliseconds for us the moment you apply some figures everything will ca be calculating themselves out before you know it so let us uh Continue this way, and then the housing we can have. Uh, let's put it in terms of steel. Uh, 
10,000. You can give this guy 5 to wait some little change. There. Now, this is what we have. Uh, guys, you should be saving most of the time if you make changes because the system, they can be very funny at times. You decide not to work again. So, let's put some colors into this space. I think this font size is not the same as this. Yeah, so let's change all this font here to 12 as well. So that they can be, we can increase the font size or decrease or just select the font size that you want directly from there. So in this place too, let's put, uh, let's color this place. So to color, I did this quick coloring in the last video. So to color, you highlight the cells that you want to color first. For any changes you want to make, please do the highlighting first. Except you want to apply to the old sheet, which you do that by coming and selecting this corner here. You can see that all the cells have been highlighted. So the changes, whatever change you make here, will be affected to or will affect every cell. But that is not what we want to do. I can undo my action here on this top corner here. So, but I want to apply change to just this cells. And I will. This is the painting to format, uh, to, to paint the background of those cells. So you can choose an appropriate color. You can choose an appropriate color here. Let's just stick with yellow. Or another color say this color like so and uh, you can still do more formatting by highlighting everything and putting borders this is the border here uh, the currently if I select this one it means I'm using what is currently there bottom border if you click on that small arrow you see other different kinds of border that you can apply for now I want to use all borders as you can see we have border on every cell in this page so we are i think we're getting somewhere with this and because i made some changes now i'm going to i'm going to say guys at this point we want to introduce two other staff or three and then we can continue working with those three staff for the rest of of this uh series of video how do we do that we already have this we just employ two more staff we're still in january we're not paying general salary we had two more staff we need to slot them inside this existing payroll that we have so uh what do we do we can insert things we can insert new rules you can also insert new column because this is also very important that you understand how to do that because we are going to expand on this this file that we have to accommodate several other you know columns that are coming in uh, items because we still have to to include other other elements of of uh, of salary we only have three elements for now basic trans transport and housing we can have medical we can have uh, t several of them and we need to impute them we we don't need to start afresh to do that so we need to know how to insert new column and how to insert new rules to accommodate your current file now let us have um, number four staff here we need to put him right in this row so what we do is to select that row that we want to insert the new staff or new record in this case it's a record this row 7 is a record we have record another record here so we need another record on row 10 row 10 don't forget is calculating is doing summary for us is calculating sum of each of this column do you understand but we need another record right inside that place inside this row 10 so what we do is on that row 10 you right click on that row not on the cell 
not on the cell but on the row you click on the row you see that the highlight it has highlighted all the cell in that row don't make the mistake again it's not on the cells because what we want is to impute a record another record of another staff inside this particular row so on that row you select that row right click on it and click to insert now immediately you will notice there's a change excel has shifted the previous cell here that is on row 10 here it has shifted it down and created a space for us to enter the new record for the new i mean for the new record in exactly into that place now we can begin to type to enter data you can see because we impute in between it has copied the the format of the record above and it has copied it down for us because we don't need to change the the formatting again we have already it has it has copied the styles that we applied on the previous or the immediate cell above it and has shifted you know to create a space in between the last column or the last row and the adjacent row so it has created a space in between those two and copied the values or the the the, the styles rather of the cell or the row above it now we said we need to in insert three more records just like that we need to insert three more records insert like that so that is how you create or you insert records or space in between what you already have now if you look at this we are saying is you calculate between a7 and h9 which is what is as currently highlighted but excel is so intelligent that if well i hope you are using the latest excel though if you input cell if you input value into these cells it will automatically adjust itself to know that oh look this man has just there's a value inside that person and it will recalculate it to you know adjust this formula itself to include the new value that you put here and to do the same for the rest of but instead of that waiting for you waiting for it to calculate you can you can just manually do that by yourself and say it is a sum from h7 to h12 you can just click on the formula bar and type h12 yourself as you can see it has highlighted and you press enter and uh, like so so we need to update this once too you can simply copy and highlight the three cells and press enter obviously nothing has changed yet because well we we don't have any so let's include our fourth fifth and sixth uh, staff we can type them by hand say four five and six or imagine if you have up to 100 staff you can be typing one two and three bars like that yeah excel we can use one of the functions of excel to you know populate numbers and also populate uh some other values but for our our lecture here will uh, just numbers so if you have one and two Excel can help you with the rest of the numbers by highlighting the two together and then the little green dot on the last on the highlighted this thing click and drag it downward you can see you can see a mini preview by the side to tell you what that's the last value there if you drop Excel will automatically calculate and impute those data for you now I'm highlighting and dragging because these two values are related. You cannot drag one and uh, e together. It may give you a very very strange, 
results so depending on the values excel will try to you know intelligence with intelligence rather to calculate things for you also you can do that autofill that is what is called autofill you can do that autofill on letters too so you have january just short form like that you have feb it's always intelligent to know that you are trying to you know write out month in short form just like that yeah just like that and if you also have it in full name you write it in full january and you have february and you align the two and and drag it's it's going to do wonders for you just like that so you don't have to type by yourself it is so intelligent uh, yeah like that what if you have one and you want to replicate to one million you don't need to type two because two is an increment of one or if you have one and you have three and you try to replicate Excel will, will increment the next one by two and like that you think you want to write uh, out odd numbers and so on and so forth so this is a very powerful software if you know how to use it you will change your life forever now on the fourth row let us have uh, Jimmy hello Ali who is the uh, store manager then we can have Francis Francis Shuku who is a driver and uh, Mary Money, who is our receptionist of front desk? Who is in the front desk? Now we have the story. As you can see, store manager, the letter, the content has overlapped to the next column. So in the previous video, we say you can double click on so it to uh, adjust to the longest cell there so to accommodate now if you have so many accommodate i mean overlappings in all the cells and you want to do them at once you just highlight all the cells and on the last line there double click it will adjust everybody at once to make sure they feel the uh so that's other part of formatting would um, come across them as as we go along so Next, we need to impute values for this guy, say 15,000. Yeah, you can see that this is not calculating because it's no formula there. We haven't copied anything, we just create space to put the record. We haven't, so we can we'll get to that place for this guy. Is let's give them 10,000. Here we have it. Here we can copy it. I click on copy, set the three cells together, and paste. I'm going to show you that thing is correct. So, this is what we have now. We can go ahead and save our work. And hey, look, guys, we are having something next. We need to impute more columns for salary elements. We just have a three elements for now that are basic transport and housing. We can include two others. So uh, in the next video, we'll show us how to insert 
new clock what we did here is to insert new records i mean new rows we can also include new columns and we'll be working a lot with that new columns because well we can go ahead and be working with c staff for the rest of the videos but we need to include so many calculations that we just you just need to understand how to include the uh, in the new columns how to insert rather new columns because new calculations will come up and you don't want to distort or you know affect what you already have it's just to add to it and then work should continue like that without affecting what you're doing previously so guys let us watch out for the uh, next video if you do not forget to subscribe and um, click on the like button and um, the notification so you get to know when the next video is available for you to watch thank you for your time and i'll see you in the next video bye bye